baby, si te busco Dime, baby, ¿qué piensas hacer? Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. We'll be uploading a video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today, I do have a video showing you guys what it looks like inside the Supreme store. And I don't want to get into too much detail right now because I did explain a lot during this voiceover. So I hope you guys enjoy the footage and know what it looks like inside the Supreme store in the end because I know there's not a lot of pictures online. So, so here it is, guys. All right, guys. So this is pretty much going to be a narration of what happened when I was in Supreme. Basically, when I got in, I had a confrontation with the security guard at the front. And you guys are going to see him in a bit. He is sitting right next to the door. I was recording. I didn't mean to record, actually. I meant to take a picture of the Supreme right on the door. But then he got mad. He's like, first of all, take off the mask. Because I was wearing the easy mask when I walked in. Since it was cold outside, you know, I had to stay warm. And he already, like, gave me attitude for that. I was like, yo, relax, bro. Like, I want to take it off. Like, just wait a minute. And then I understand he got mad because I was taking a picture. But I just want to take a picture of the sign. Like, it's not. I was trying to record inside the store. And that's what took me off. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and record the store. So in the end, what I did, I just took a picture of the logo from the inside outward. And that's what I got on my Snapchat. But the way I recorded this video is that everything is upside down. But when I went to edit it, I did flip it upside down. So now it is upside right, pretty much. So that's why you see everything is kind of like tilted at times. And then you see like the cashier at a sideways angle because i did have the camera down i wasn't gonna hold it straight up or upside down as you guys can see when you get to the front there's like a little casing that has like a bunch of other accessories such as the bookends which apparently they've sold out but they're still in stores they had a few things that are still in store that they don't have online when i got to the front i'm pretty sure they told the people that I had a camera and they had this guy put this big jacket in front of my camera to block the view and this other dude as you can see him in the back right there in the top left corner he grabs a bag and then just puts it in front of my camera as you guys can see right here just to block the view and it really doesn't do much because i already got the view of what i was looking at and when you see when i'm already about to pay the cashier pulled out a bag i don't think he did this intentionally to cover the camera but anyways i moved it in the end and then some other guy comes around he tries to put the hat in front of the camera but he messes up so what he does is that he goes in the back and gets a regular one because apparently that was a display one and look how he puts it in the camera you can even see him looking at the camera puts it right in front just so i can't see and look what he does now he actually goes to turn it around to cover more surface area so i can't really record much and I think at this point they caught on, but they didn't really say anything to me because they couldn't like accuse me of anything. But you see the security guard there on the left. He did come from the front. He's actually the security guard that stands outside. He came inside just to do I don't know what. And as you can see, he stands right in front of the camera for I don't know what reason, but this is what made me think they caught on. I actually did not notice this until I saw the video. And I'm sorry if you hear all the noise in the background. They're like remodeling my house right now. And I decided to make this video so you guys can kind of have an idea of what it looks like in the store because I know a lot of people don't have the chance to go to New York and less than Supreme because the line took me two hours to get in there. And I'm an idiot because all I did was buy a headband and a hat and I resold the headband, but I could have got more headbands. However, I just didn't want to do it because I was scared I wasn't going to be able to resell them. But then I looked at the prices on StockX and they all resold for a good amount of price. I kind of slept on that. I tried to get in line. I tried to sneak in again, but it didn't work. And that's when they got mad at me, but I didn't really care. Like, they weren't going to do anything. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy that footage, even though it wasn't really anything too crazy, all I did was do a voiceover. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 25,000 by the end of this month, which seems very unlikely right now because it's already the 21st and we don't even have 21K. But in the end, anything is possible. So that's why I don't get my hopes down. Before I go, I do want to announce that I'm going to be selling the Yeezy mask, the bread colorway next wednesday at 12 p.m eastern time i did announce this yesterday but i'm going to be announcing it every day until then so make sure that you're on the website at that time on that day anyways the fan of the day does go to milo zero zero if you guys did enjoy like i said hit that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe make sure you stay woke it's your boy thank you so much. Yeah, yeah.